Dart is a Python library designed for user-friendly time series forecasting and anomaly detection. It supports a range of models, including classics like ARIMA and deep neural networks. The library allows easy model fitting, prediction, backtesting, and combining predictions from multiple models. Dart handles both univariate and multivariate time series, supporting machine learning models trained on large datasets with probabilistic forecasting capabilities. Anomaly detection is a strong feature of Dart, enabling the application of PI-OD models on time series for anomaly scoring. It also allows wrapping forecasting or filtering models for comprehensive anomaly detection. The library is quick to install using the pip command. Key features of Dart include forecasting models, both statistical and deep learning, anomaly detection capabilities, multivariate support, global models for multiple time series training probabilistic support, past and future covariates, hierarchical reconciliation, regression models, explainability using shop values, data processing tools, various metrics for evaluation, backtesting utilities, and PyTorch lighting support for deep learning models. Filtering models like Kalman filter, Gaussian process filter, and moving average filter are available for time series filtering. The library also includes popular time series datasets for experimentation. Darts continuously adds new models and features to enhance its capabilities, including baseline models, statistical models like ARIMA, regression models like linear regression, random forest, and XJBoost, as well as PyTorch Lightning-based neural networks. And last but not least, ensemble models. Let's check how we can build and manipulate time series. Time series is highlighted as the primary data class in darts, representing univariate and multivariate time series with a proper time index. There are several methods available for building time series, including from a pandas data frame, from a time index and values, from a numpy array, from a pandas series, from an x array data array, and from a CSV file. Here you can see an example of loading a dataset straight from darts and plotting it using the plot method. There are several operations that can be performed on time series, including splitting that can be done either at a fraction, a timestamp, or an integer index value. The slicing operation can be performed based on time intervals. On time series, we can also perform arithmetic operations like addition, division, and multiplication. The stacking operation on time series lets you concatenate a new dimension to create a multivariate series. The mapping operation applies mapping functions to the series or to both the timestamps and the values. We can also add daytime attributes as well as binary holidays. We can perform differencing operations and we can fill missing values with the help of utility functions. Whenever working with time series data, it's always important to be able to split the time series into training and validation. We can see here a practical example that splits the provided air passengers dataset into training and validation series, enabling users to grasp the process. Let's discuss about training forecasting models and making predictions. As you embark on time series forecasting with darts, it's advantageous to start with baseline models, such as the naive seasonal model. The model provides a simple baseline repeating the last value of the time series that occurred a number of steps k before. This model provides a simple baseline, repeating the last value of the training series. Darts simplifies the training and prediction process with familiar functions like fit and predict, akin to the scikit-learn approach, but tailored for time series. You can experiment with naive models like naive seasonal and fine-tune them by adjusting parameters. For example, you can refine the naive seasonal model by incorporating seasonality, for example a seasonality of 12, to capture periodic trends, a vital aspect in time series data with yearly patterns. To elevate your forecasting, you can use the naive drift model, which considers the linear trend by predicting based on the first and last values of the training set. By combining naive drift with the seasonality informed naive seasonal, you create a more nuanced and effective forecast. Accurate evaluation is crucial, and DARTS facilitates this through metrics like mean absolute percentage error or MAPE. By leveraging DARTS straightforward MAPE function, you can quantitatively assess the performance of your models and make informed comparisons. DARTS streamlines the process of experimentation with various models. We can see here how we can train and evaluate 
models such as exponential smoothing, TBATS, Auto Arima, and Theta. By default, these models are initialized, trained, and evaluated using MAPE, providing a quick overview of the relative performance. The Theta model, rooted in the Theta method by Asima Kopoulos and Nikolopoulos offers potential improvements. In this example, we can see a demonstration of a systematic search for the best theta parameter, which allows you to fine-tune the model for optimal performance on your specific data. Understanding how your model would have performed historically is essential. Backtesting allows you to simulate predictions as if they were made in the past. The backtesting process shows us insights into the model performance over historical forecasts and offers a realistic assessment of its capabilities. The residual analysis explores the nuances of model performance by scrutinizing residuals. Using the Theta model as an example, we can see how to analyze residuals, providing insights into biases and any remaining patterns in the errors. We can see the comparison between the theta model and the exponential smoothing model, which gives us a more nuanced understanding of the model behavior, which can be further seen in the residual analysis plots. In the realm of machine learning forecasting models within DARTS, we have a rich array of options, each designed to cater to specific forecasting needs. The regression model, for instance, seamlessly wraps around any scikit-learn compatible regression model, offering flexibility in prediction. The RNN model stands out as a dynamic and versatile implementation, akin to deep AR, while NBeats model leverages the power of the NBeats model. The TFT model implements the cutting-edge temporal fusion transformer, and the TCN model specializes in temporal convolutional networks. These models are not only diverse, but also global, supporting training on multiple time series often referred to as meta-learning. Practical application of these models involves specifying a sequence of time series, typically represented as a list, showcasing DART's commitment to simplicity. In a hands-on example, you delve into training models using two distinct time series, air traffic passenger count and monthly milk production. Scaling this series between 0 and 1, aided by the scaler, is a crucial step to optimize the performance of most ML models. The tutorial emphasized the scalability of DART's models demonstrating their ability to handle thousands of series efficiently. An in-depth exploration of the NBeats model showcased its forecasting capabilities with default hyperparameters. The tutorial emphasized the importance of incorporating external covariates, both past and future, to enhance model productions. Additionally, the integration of encoders, exemplified with month and year, illustrated a powerful method to boost model performance. DARTS doesn't stop at deep learning, it also excels in regression forecasting models. The regression model, acting as a wrapper around scalar compatible regression models, demonstrated its adaptability. Bayesian Ridge Regression, as an example, showcased how lags of the target and covariates can be seamlessly integrated for robust predictions. The backtesting process underscored the model's effectiveness on historical air traffic data, showcasing its reliability in real-world scenarios. You can generate probabilistic forecasts using various models in DART. Deep learning models like RNN model, NBeats model, as well as ARIMA and exponential smoothing are capable of producing probabilistic forecasts. For ARIMA and exponential smoothing, you can specify the number of samples parameter in the predict function to obtain Monte Carlo samples representing the distribution of time series values. For ARIMA and exponential smoothing, you can specify the number of samples parameter in the predict function to obtain Monte Carlo samples representing the distribution of time series values. When working with neural networks like the TCN model, you need to provide a likelihood object to the model. Likelihoods define the distribution the model will attempt to fit. Training an n-bits model with a Laplace likelihood, for example, involves specifying the likelihood during model creation. Probabilistic forecasts are obtained by setting the num samples parameter in the predict function. Moreover, you can enhance predictions by incorporating prior beliefs about distribution parameters. For instance, specifying prior underscore b in Laplace likelihood introduces regularization using a Kullback libler divergence term. DARTS allows you to visualize probabilistic forecasts, showing not only the mean but also the 5th and 95th percentiles by default. You have the flexibility to customize these percentiles according to your preferences. Different likelihoods are compatible with specific types of time series values. For example, Poisson likelihood suits this 
discrete positive values, exponential likelihood for real positive values, and the beta likelihood for real values in 0, 1. Quantile regression can be employed to fit desired quantiles directly. When evaluating the quality of probabilistic forecasts, you can use metrics like MAPE for the median forecasts and row risk for quantile specific evaluation. DARTS provides the flexibility to assess and optimize forecasts based on your specific needs and the characteristics of your time series data. To improve your forecasting, you can explore the power of ensembling models. Ensemble forecasting involves combining predictions from multiple models to create a more robust and accurate final forecast. Consider the naive ensemble model. In DART, a simple yet effective method, it calculates the average of forecasts from various models, like naive drift and naive seasonal. This can be beneficial for backtesting purposes, providing a straightforward approach. For a more sophisticated approach, consider the regression ensemble model. It treats ensembling as a supervised regression problem, aiming to find a model that minimizes errors by combining forecasts. Specify forecasting underscore models, regression train endpoints, and optionally a regression model. It accepts the regression ensemble model, accepts three parameters forecasting models, regression train endpoints, and optionally a regression model. You can even inspect the coefficients used for weighting the inner models in the linear combination. For probabilistic forecasts, use a probabilistic regression model, such as the linear regression model. DART offers filtering models like the Kalman filter for modeling in sample series values distributions, and the Gaussian process filter for probabilistic modeling. Remember, when working with small datasets, always interpret results cautiously, considering potential overfitting. Apply the scientific method diligently before relying on any forecast. If you've enjoyed this video so far, it will really help me a lot if you subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell. I know most of you are not subscribed already, so you might miss out on any future content that I will release on this channel. Please subscribe today. Thank you. I recently created a Patreon account for the Data Science channel. At the moment, I create my videos in my spare time while also working a full-time job. Having a Patreon would allow me to receive donations from people like you who have enjoyed the videos that I've produced so far and will help me improve the quality and the frequency of the videos that I post on the channel. Moreover, for each of the membership options available, I will provide some extra services for those of you who decide to support me.